So what is evolutionary astrology? The answer is uh, oh, multifaceted. We'd have a, certainly a lot to say about it. But in my opinion, in essence, evolutionary astrology is the fusion of uh, modern humanistic psychology on one hand with ancient metaphysics on the other hand. We assume as we look at a chart in the evolutionary context that the person has this birth chart for a reason, that they are in fact an ancient soul on a long evolutionary journey, that you are far older than your birth certificate might suggest, would be one way to say it, and that you have come into this body at the particular time and place that you did for a reason. And that built into your chart is a description of what we might think of as an evolutionary predicament or a karmic predicament, uh, a set of uh, illusions that you have, a set of issues that you have, things you need to work on, things that can trip you up. All that can be seen in the birth chart, shadow material. And simultaneously, we see a way of addressing those kinds of conditions built into the chart. So we constantly use the grounded language of humanistic psychology. In other words, we are talking uh, in everyday observable terms, nothing too lofty or, or, or hard to prove or, or one way or another or falsify with things that we can see in our lives. We've got a fear of abandonment. We've got uh, a tendency to get angry too easily. We lack confidence in ourselves or we're always overextended or we're always taking care of other people. You know, things like this, just the, the garden variety issues of life, which uh, are, are uh, existent in one form or another in just about everybody. The chart will describe all of those things very, very clearly. It will also, from the evolutionary point of view, give us some insight into where they came from. We're talking about past lives, typically, and uh, use that as the way of, uh, of kind of tapping into this. And then most importantly, the, the birth chart will describe the medicine, uh, the, the kind of experiences we can have that will help us uh, get on with it. Like, for example, if a, if a soul is uh, at a place where it really needs to learn courage, just simply courage to, to get on with things. The, the chart might uh, suggest whitewater kayaking. Uh, that would be just a metaphor that we could stand for a lot of things. Uh, we could say uh, skydiving, you know, but basically anything that, that might scare you can teach you courage. And so the chart describes a kind of experiential recipe that you can follow in order to optimally empower yourself, heal the wounded places in your psyche, and get on with the journey. That's really the essence of evolutionary astrology. It's metaphysical, but I would really emphasize how it is utterly practical and utterly testable, and I believe uh, supremely useful to human beings. If any of this seems interesting to you, I, I would very much invite you to uh, oh, maybe get your feet wet by having a look at any one of my books that are available through the website, or uh, I'd be happy to do a personal reading for you, and uh, details uh, about that are also available on the website. I'd go further and, and say that uh, I've been teaching this kind of astrology for a long, long time. I have an astrological apprenticeship program. Six or 700 people have passed through it. Many of them have become professional astrologers. And on this website, you can also find a, a directory of astrologers whom I have trained, uh, divided up state by state. And you could find somebody perhaps close to you who might be able to uh, help you out in understanding your chart in this uh, more modern, open-ended, and hopefully more inspiring way. Thank you.